So. Good morning. My name is Buck James and I serve as the Executive Director at Halifax Urban Ministries and I'm also a member of First Dorman. And my name is Lindy Khanna and I am a member of First United as well and uh, on the Cold Weather Shelter Committee. The first thing I'd like to do is to thank uh, Trevor and Carrie Perot for their years of service in helping us with Cold Weather Shelter. What Cold Weather Shelter is, is every year during the winter months, there are days when the combined temperature and the feels like temperature is 40 or below. And on those days, local churches open up their doors to provide overnight shelter to those who are living on the streets. And First United has been doing that since 2019. And since its inception, um, we've served my family, my four children, and myself um, alongside Trevor and Carrie, um, serving mostly in the capacity of setup. So we, um, when we get word usually that the shelter needs to open, we um, we come and transform um, our church into a cold weather shelter. Yes, and uh, Trevor and uh, Carrie have moved to Melbourne, and so we're looking for new leadership to come in and to help us, and also many volunteers to help out. Hey, First United, it's Trevor and Carrie Perry. Reaching out for two reasons. The first is to remind you that we love you and miss you. Uh, we hope that God is doing great things for you and through you in Ormond Beach. The second reason that we're reaching out is to let you guys know that because we have relocated to the Space Coast, we're no longer in a position where we can run the cold weather shelter that we've been coordinating for the last five or so years. We've absolutely loved taking care of this ministry at First United, but it's just not something that we can do from our new home in the Space Coast. Well, cold weather shelter is an awesome ministry. When it gets cold in the winter, we can become the hands and feet and turn God's house into a guest house. And that's essentially what we do. Uh, ultimately, we, we've come to make a plea. Uh, we need somebody to step up to the plate and take our place. Uh, we think this is something that's really important, uh, you know, not for First United's fame by any means, but uh, truthfully, just, uh, you know, letting the church live out one of our fundamental functions, uh, as Scott would say, serving the least, the last, and the lost. Uh, cold weather shelter is a, a great way to put that into practice. Um, so, if uh, God leads you so, we would like you to seriously consider uh, taking up this role as the cold weather shelter coordinator. Thank you all so much. We love you. We miss you. Uh, if you're down in Brevard, give us a shout. First United, I am thrilled that over the last several years, we've partnered with Halifax Urban Ministries in Volusia County to provide this cold night shelter. I am so grateful to Trevor and Carrie for their leadership. And a little grumpy, they moved away. Now, they've been great members of the church, but I understand why they had to move. But we need you. We need someone to step up and take their place uh, to begin to kind of lead and guide us in the cold night uh, shelter. Be kind of the head honcho to organize it. If you have a passion and a desire for that, you've got volunteers who want to help. You've got a team in place. You've got staff who want to support it. But we need somebody to say, I'll take this on. I'll be a champion. I don't want people to sleep out on the streets when it's too cold. So if you're willing to do that, let us know in the church office. You can email me at smith at firstunited.org or call the church office and we'll hook you up. We need one of you. Thanks.